Is that not special right before today's kickoff, the national anthem? Very yeah. impressive and had the flyover as well. Really awesome scene at Troy. And away we go. Coastal Carolina and Troy Jones gets it at the five. He's got some room near side. And Jones could take it to the house. Two years in a row, Marcus Jones has scored on the opening kickoff. This one, 95 yards. Unreal. And how about the opening kickoff for the second year in a row? Marcus Jones does it again. Unbelievable start for Troy. You can see why he was an All-American a year ago. Carpenter in the shotgun. He's got Outlow to his left. Under pressure and going down a big time sack by the Trojans. That's Salo. And that is a tremendous play by Salo forcing the punt. Salo gets the start this afternoon for Troy. Marcus Webb unavailable. Second half though was a different story. Barker again, it's Willis. Up at midfield and a first down for the Trojans after a pickup of 19. In business on their opening drive of the game. Willis now with 15 catches on the year for nearly 200 yards for the Trojans. First down and 10 at the 35 of Coastal Carolina. Barker, Whittemore, little trickeration. He's got a man wide open and it's going to be a touchdown. Troy as Whittemore finds receiver, I should say, tailback, Jabir Daughtry Fry. Vic Koning, the defensive coordinator, he wanted him to be a safety because of hits like this. Yeah, it was Goosebump City before today's kickoff, and that's saying something because when you've got a heat index in the 90s and you've got goosebumps, it was special. And Barker on the option, lowers his shoulder. Gets the first down. Seven, Bill Parker on the run. Barker creating a little contact from the quarterback position. Well, when Troy was recruiting Barker. Third down and 13. Coastal bringing some heat. And Smith breaks one. He's got room. Smith will take it inside the 10 down near the goal line. And he's going to be just shy of a touchdown for Troy. A 47-yard pickup by B.J. Smith. How about Troy keeping it on the ground on third and long, and it pays off for the Trojans. The mountain is getting taller to climb for Coastal Carolina, and Carpenter is stripped, and a fumble is recovered by Troy. Hunter Reese. He's a big play guy on that Troy defense. Pressure from the outside. Quarterback Carpenter was hit as he released the football. Hunter Reese in the right place at the right time. These walk-on guys and ended up getting a scholarship. And what a start to a senior season he is having. Defensive coordinator Vic Koning told us Hunter Reese, kind of one of those defensive players, reminds him of a New England Patriot type. Teddy Bruschi, players like that. Hunter Reese, one of the players for Troy. Carpenter, Marable, touchdown, Coastal Carolina. Outlow and Marable behind Carpenter. The give to Outlow, and he found a seam, and it's a touchdown for Coastal Carolina. Truly remarkable. And just think of how many. There's a fumble on the pass completion, and it was picked up and recovered by Silas Kelly, the preseason all Sunbelt Conference selection. So Carolina lost at South Carolina, but since then, all W's for these two teams. Fourth down, they give it to Williams, and Williams is hit, sacked, fumbled, and recovered by Coastal Carolina, but Troy will take over on downs. There's Daughtry Fry up the middle. Now to the far side, out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Another first down run by Daughtry Fry. Let's see if his timeouts will work on Sumter. The 46-yarder is good. Wow, what a kick 
from Sumter. That one had plenty of leg, plenty of distance. A new career high for Tyler Sumter. And coiled on that one. It's right down the pipe. Taking over for Trayvon Sanders. Brian is a six foot, 296 pound senior. The long pass picked off. Far side, still on his feet and down at the 30 yard line. How about that interception by Murray? The coaches call him a ball hawk and he was just that on that play. Another long throw for Carpenter. Really tried to force that one in uh, into his receiver. Better defensive play and Troy trying to cash in after the turn. Second pick of the year, first down. It is complete to Willis. Barker to Willis down inside the 10. It'll be first and goal at the eight. And that's that's one of your, he's listed as a spear linebacker position, and he covered a lot of ground to make the interception there. Coastal Carolina territory. All right, here we go. Fourth and goal. And DeAndre Douglas will reach the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. How about that? We have not called DeAndre Douglas' name at all so far this afternoon. Troy goes to him on fourth and goal. Looked like he bobbled the pitch initially, hold on to it, and once he got to the edge, he was in for the touchdown. What a big call, what a big play on fourth down for Troy. Transfer from Fort Scott Community College in Kansas. So first down and 10 for the shots. Carpenter in trouble, breaks a tackle. Carpenter down inside the 35, down to the 31 yard line. Carpenter to the end zone, touchdown. That's Shadell Bell. So here's Barker trying to counter punch for Troy. He's got a man, it's caught. That's Douglas. And he's down to the 30 yard line. They'll mark it at the 29 yard line. Barker to Douglas for 40 yards. And look, Barker initially wanted to go deep, thought about running it, and then saw Douglas wide open, checked down to him, and Douglas just too good in space. Barker 11 for 14 and a buck 38 through the air. This time it's Smith finding the end zone, and B.J. Smith completes the drive, and Troy is back up by three scores. What a run by B.J. Smith. Tempo starting to give Coastal Carolina fits defensively. B.J. Smith with a nice move and a stiff arm as well with that left hand. Finds his way in the end zone. 140 yards through the air, 151 on the ground for head coach Joe Moglia. And Carpenter goes down. Tremendous pressure by the Trojans. It looks like... Overson averaging almost 42 and a half yards a punt this year. That's Rookert on the run. He's got some space down on the near sidelines and knocked out of bounds. The Trojans defense getting the making the big play. That's Smiley again. Smiley's the backup to Folsom at that Will linebacker. Nice job by Sanders. Look at that spin move by the big fella. <laughs> Making that jump to the FBS and in the Sun Belt Conference, but they are not using that as an excuse. There's Daughtry Fry. Fry's trying to take it to the house, and he will. A touchdown, 74 yards, and Troy now has 44, looking for number 45 points on the day. Longest run of the season for Troy and Daltrey Fry. He doesn't get a lot of carries, but when he does, he makes them count. Over the century mark with that run right there, and he might have just put the game out of reach for Coastal Carolina. Yeah, that might have been your dagger for Troy. Boy, he's got another gear, Daltrey Fry. Daughtry Fry again with room. Breaks a tackle. Finally tackled 
at the 29-yard line. Tawdry Fry is racking up some serious yardage. A gain of 39 yards on that play. And he just has a different gear, it looks like. He's just so explosive once he hits the hole. Smith in and out of the hands of Brown, and it's picked off. That was Chandler Chris, the 5'9 junior, with his second interception of the year. Carpenter, a little flea flicker, and Troy wasn't biting. And that's Jarvis Hayes. He's had a really good second half here this afternoon. Yeah, he really has. Hayes wasn't fooled. That's Troy with a blitz there, and Hayes was able to clean it up. As with the initial pressure, T.J. Harris' safety was on the blitz. In 14 years. And there's Hayes again. My goodness, Hayes is having a monster second half, especially here in the fourth quarter. Hayes has eight tackles. That's his second sack. He has been an absolute monster. And that will be the last play. Troy will win it going away. How about a uh, game summary? How did Neil Brown win this one? 45-21. Well, just remember, Troy got off to such a fast start. 96-yard kickoff return for a touchdown for Marcus Jones to start the game. Then the offense was absolutely rolling throughout the entire contest. And they did it today with the running game.